Good afternoon. We are here today at the Gaylord Palms Orlando, which is just outside of Walt Disney World, about six minutes from Disney's Hollywood Studios. So if you're looking for a place to stay within the theme park bubble, I would definitely consider this as an option. We are here today to celebrate the start of the holiday season by checking out their holiday offerings here at the Gaylord Palms. They set us up in a double queen room that has a fantastic view of their atrium where you can see the Christmas tree, and you can see the stage for their Cirque style show. And you can also see the lights that they use for the shine show hanging from the top of the atrium. So this room definitely has a great view. So now let's head down to the Alpine Village and check out ICE and all of the other offerings they have down there. Ooh, nine degree weather, here we come. Hey Jackson, did you notice that we're inside right now but it looks like we're outside? There's plants everywhere and there's rocks and stuff, but there's a, uh, there's a ceiling up there. There's a waterfall somewhere, I can hear it. Yeah, look at that buddy, there's a waterfall inside of this hotel. But before we head into the Alpine Village, let's stop off and grab breakfast. But we're gonna go over to the buffet, get a full breakfast. So the name of this restaurant is Via de Flora. I like that every place has Christmas decorations up. Christmas trees all over the place. They yeah, have like right. wine corks all over them. So on the buffet, we've got some, some like smoked salmon, various sliced meats, some assorted cheeses. We got some fresh fruit over here some yogurt parfaits, some hard boiled eggs, some bread and bagels and a toaster so you can make yourself some toast, various pastries, croissants. Ooh, chocolate croissants, delicious. I don't know what this is, but it looks good. Yeah, lots of different styles. Apple turnovers and the such. Some muffins over here, some blueberry muffins, as well as some chocolate chip muffins over there. Scrambled eggs, some delicious looking bacon right here. Some pork sausage, some turkey sausage some breakfast potatoes. They're calling this corned beef hash, but it's just breakfast potatoes with beef in it. With corned beef in it. Some pancakes. Some buttermilk biscuits. Sausage gravy. Some oatmeal. Some grits. And then, you know, butter and syrup items to add to the top of your oatmeal or your grits. And there's a full omelet bar down here too, where you can have a couple of different choices of pre-planned omelets. And then you can have eggs any style and add these sort of items to them. And here they are, they're making it. And of course they do have eggs to fresh crack into it. The place is great because of the nature of the hotel. It feels like you're dining al fresco, but you don't have to worry about it being too hot or it raining or anything like that because it is all enclosed. We're inside, but it feels like we're outside. All right, so now that we're done with breakfast, let's head over to the Alpine Village to check out the holiday offerings. One tip we have for the Alpine Village is that it is a little bit chilly in here, so be sure to dress in layers, because even if it is warm outside, it is a little bit cold in here. All right, we are headed in. We're going over to see Mrs. Claus. This is the Alpine Village section oh, it here. So good. It smells like, it smells like, like sugar cookies, cookies or something, yeah. And then the ice portion is over there. That would be the main section where all of the ice sculptures are that we'll be heading into later. But right now, we're going to Mrs. Claus. So this is Mrs. Claus's Christmas traditions where she retells the Christmas classic, Twas the Night Before Christmas. We get to sing along to some holiday songs. And then at the end, we all get a Christmas cookie and some ice cold milk. This lasts about 25 minutes and requires a separate ticket. And all the ticketing information will be in the description down below. You can save some money by buying your tickets in a bundle, but be sure to check out Gaylord Palm's website for more detailed information. That, buddy? Thank you all so much! Now we do have a very special surprise before you all go. We do! Snowflake and I have made you all some wonderful Christmas cookies! Thank you all so much for being here with us. So that was really fun. Like we got to see Mrs. Claus and Snowflake do a story and they sang some songs. But I will say, if your child is sensitive to loud noises, Snowflake was very loud. So 
just be aware of that. On the way out, they gave us a cookie and milk, milk and cookies. And by the way, these are the best cookies out there. I love these manifesto cookies. Next, we're headed into the Alpine Workshop where we're gonna make some toys. So this is the Elf Training Academy where we get to, for $19, you get to decorate your own Christmas ornament. And you have the choice of these nutcrackers and this snowman. So they give you the ornaments and you paint the ornaments. Yeah, look at Jackson. And then He's like, you get some, oh wow, look at yours, buddy. He's taking some artistic, uh, um, what's the word? Uh, leeway? Yeah, we're... Uh-oh, fell oh, over. No. This Let's... is pretty nice, buddy. All right, up next, we're headed into the Alpine Sweet Shop, where I believe we're gonna make gingerbread houses. Here is our gingerbread house, like the base. And it's basically, they just kind of give you a kit and you can follow that kit. It comes with the icing, all of the candies that you need to decorate. And then this is the room that we're in. And there's a gingerbread man up there making stuff. He's baking cookies and sweets. What do you think, bud? Yeah? You like it? I think you did really nice. I think so. A little bit of some structural issues, but that's, we didn't that's do okay. That. That's true. <laughs> I blame the engineer. So in this area, the Alpine Village is to the right, which is where ice is. And then to the left is what they call the Snow Factory. They also have Snowflow Mountain, which is ice sledding. Oh, oh, you went way faster than me. Whoa! Whoa, this is so fast. There's a snow bar over here. There's snow. And then of course, snowball build and blast. Jackson's favorite activity. It really, really loud, okay? Wake up, Belle! Wake up, Belle! Here they come. We did it, buddy. And there's three. We got three buckets now. Oh, that's good. Hey, no, no, mommy's got one. Yeah. Whoa. Big money, Jackson. You can do it. Okay, this is the last one. <laughs> the good thing about staying in this hotel while you're visiting this event is you can get changed into warmer clothes before going into the ice exhibit. They do provide you with parkas, but you'll be a little bit more comfortable if you throw on some extra layers because it is nine degrees in there. Very, very cold. After scanning in, we're headed back to get our parkas before heading into the very cold area. And this year's theme is how the Grinch stole Christmas. Oh, you measure yourself against a gnome and that tells you what size parka to wear. Oh, I love it. It tells you, come here, come look. You have to stand up against a gnome, and that's what size parka you wear. Maybe try standing in front of this one. Yeah, I think that's right. Put your arms out, too. There you go. Yeah, I think that's right. After we picked up our parkas, then we get a photo taken. Please be nice to the ice. No touching, licking, or sitting on the ice. Except for the ice slide. No food or beverage past this point. We're gonna start getting chilly now. Ooh, it's exciting. Whoa, look at you. Sorry. Yeah, we're doing it, buddy. We're going in. It'll be very cold in there. Whoa. Aren't you glad you're wearing so many outfits? Wow. There's the Grinch. He's gonna steal Christmas. So all of this is made out of ice. This is 
wild. We're just inside of an igloo right now, and there's a Grinch. Have you ever wondered what his toes look like? Now we know. I want to know what his butt looks like. Let's have a look. There's the Grinch's butt. Oh, and then we head down to Whoville. Yeah, here's all the Who's getting ready for the Hula, the hula days. I almost call it the hula -bration. That's not right, right? Look at this Who train. Who's driving this train? Look at that. Wow. He's driving it on ice. I know, it's on ice. Everything's made of ice except for the chain. Everything else is made of ice though. Oh, and I don't think this net's made of ice. There's a huge Grinch photo op right here. It's just a very large Grinch. I like my little Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. And then, of course, there's the Grinch and Max right there. And the Grinch is tying a reindeer antler on its head. He's saying everything's made of ice? I know, it's true. Ooh, look at this leg on the Grinch. That, oof, man. He's climbing down, climbing down the chimney. Right there, he's stealing all their decorations. He's stealing the who hash. They are in the bed right now. How many are in the bed? How many? 10, count them. One, two, three, four, five. How many are in the bed? Five. Five. What did the little one say? And the little one said. Roll over, roll over. How convenient would it be to have a refrigerator made of ice? <laughs> right? Yeah, it just makes sense. There he is, stealing all the decorations. Time to go down the slide. Hey. Good job, bud! I'm right here, I'm right here, buddy! Good job, buddy! Whoa! <laughs> nice work! Poor Jackson. I don't think he weighs enough to make it all the way down the slide. Alright, here we go. Whoa! Oh! Uh, uh, I picked up my legs. Goes a little bit faster that way. Ooh. So they do have two different size slides. They have one for adults over 40 inches and one for kids under 40 inches. And you can see the under 40 one's a little bit smaller than the ones that everybody's climbing into up there. And we've got the Grinch and Max. Getting to the top of Mount Crumpet. Over top of Whoville. Whoa. Look at this. Fa who do re fa who for a welcome Christmas welcome something or other but then also look his heart grew three sizes that day I just looked up and I'm like creating all this steam <sighs> look at Max looks like a little puppy here oh and then in here we can see one of the ice artisans making the ice sculptures it's got to be so cold though. You can see all of his different tools over here. Oh, and you can see these are the plans for what he's making, too. Oh, he's just using a pencil. Look. And then Cindy Lou Who has saved the day by helping the Grinch realize the true spirit of Christmas. And the Grinch brought back all the presents and all the Who hash. And then they had a delicious, delicious meal. Ooh, yeah, look, the roast beast. Looks delicious on the inside. Pretty awesome stuff. I also like that this is like trust. Like the engineering that went into this is amazing. And there it is, the end. And now we go out the door and we go into an area that's more themed to just Christmas in general. So we've got angels, we have an ice nativity scene, and the three wise men and little icy baby Jesus. This is interesting because this is the last scene, but we've been in here long enough that I have ice that's formed on my beard. Actually, maybe it's just wet from breathing. Weird. All right, here goes my favorite part. We're heading back out into the real world where it gets really warm right away. Yeah, thank you. Ooh, starting to warm up already. 
I forgot how cold it was. Yeah, it was very cold. My hands are frozen even though I'm wearing gloves. I'm glad I wore two pairs of pants. I wasn't right? going to. You ready to take your big blue jacket off? Yes, I am. Show me your hands. <laughs> were your hands nice and warm in there? Did yeah. You, were you very warm? Yeah. You were wearing two so. pairs of gloves. The good news is, oh, good job. The good news is, is that this this parka was too big. They had two T and they had youth small. Two T was too small. Youth small was a little bit big, but it was long enough that it covered his legs. Yeah. So I think. Yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Also, now we're starting to get the humidity into the camera. Oh yeah, it's my glasses fog fogged up. We took a little transitional break before heading out into the Alpine Village again. Oh yeah. I think oh, yeah. You want that one off too? You want this jacket off? You do? We'll just unzip it for right now. Yeah, buddy. It's, still, it's still cold in here, bud. Oh, oh, oh okay. okay. He's like, the heck with this. All right, well. <laughs> I'm glad we bought this jacket though, buddy. Me too. And the hat. All right, we're gonna stop off at Wrecker's Sports Bar to get some lunch. All right, we're looking over top of Wrecker's here. It's nice. Also, if you're a fan of football, boy, do they show some football here. Showing a lot of different games, for sure. And I like this too down here with all these license plates on the wall. That's cool. I have a few license plates. I don't have nearly this many, and I was like, I wonder if I could do that. But I don't think I have enough. Look at this burger. This is called the Wreckers Burger. Ooh, buddy. This thing might actually wreck me. <laughs> this has short rib, bacon, beef, cheddar cheese, and then onion straws and barbecue sauce. Oh my goodness. And then it came with tater tots. I've already started eating my tater tots. And then it came with these gigantic bread and butter pickles on the side. Look how thick these things are. After a late lunch at Wreckers, which was quite tasty, we head to the center of the atrium awaiting Cirque Spirit of Christmas. And then afterwards, we will see the shine show that takes place on all of these lights that are hanging down and the Christmas tree. So this Cirque style Christmas show features dazzling acrobatics, feats of flexibility and high flying stunts. And the performers will be soaring up to 35 feet in the air. So this show centers around Noel, a child who's dismayed by the hustle and bustle of the holidays. And she's trying to recapture her lost love of the season when she's visited by spirits who bring back the true meaning of the season in energetic and dreamlike chapters. So if you're familiar with the Cirque du Soleil shows, this is definitely a Cirque style show. It's entertainment that's great for the whole family. It's about 30 minutes long, and you may even be able to catch this show from your balcony, depending on where your, your room is located. Like we could actually watch the entire show right from our balcony, which was really cool. So the Shine Light Show dazzles with thousands of dancing lights synchronized to a seasonal soundtrack. And there are animated light curtains that glow with Christmas imagery around a huge tree in the center of the atrium that transforms into a glowing holiday spectacle. So this is another thing that you'll be able to see and hear from your balcony, depending on where your room is, if you have an atrium facing balcony. Like our room, for example, was right in line with the light curtains. It was neat to get a different perspective of it from watching it from the atrium floor versus watching it from the balcony. So we just finished Cirque, Spirit of Christmas, and the Shine Light Show, and they were both very enjoyable. It was a great way to end the night after all of our holiday activities. All right, we are back home from our stay at Gaylord Palms. Wanted to say thank you to Gaylord Palms for having us out. We really enjoyed all of the holiday activities. Jackson had a blast, and it was really awesome to see him experience things for the first time, like snowballs. He's never seen snow. Well, he's seen snow through a window, but he hasn't touched snow and made a snowball before this trip. And for people from Florida, like Jackson was born here, we were born here, it's a really unique opportunity for us to like go in somewhere that's nine degrees, see something made entirely out of ice. And I also got to go snow tubing or ice tubing down Snowflow Mountain, and that's not something we ever get to experience. So another really unique opportunity here in Central Florida. So all in all, it was a fantastic trip. And with that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.